plus security control is bot management. And here, customers have the option to use different categories depending on what makes sense. So if there is a partner or vendor bot that uh, is considered friendly, then your customers have the option to add this in the custom bot category. So just to give you an example, I'm going to click on the ellipses and then click on manage bot categories. And here, since this account already had partner bots added, I'm just going to click on their partner bots and click on the plus sign. And here you will have the template to define how you want to identify this bot. And the first thing you will do is add a um, name to this specific bot and other details that you may have, like owner name, email, URL, or description and then um, how this partner or vendor bot will be identified based on the conditions that you have here. So it may be whether you could do this via a cookie, via an IP or request header, you have this option. So after you have made your changes, you can go ahead and save. Um, in this case, I'm going to uh, go ahead and cancel. But after you have saved uh, your uh, bot, changes, um, you can go to the main bot management page on uh, custom bot categories. And after you have created that specific bot, you can uh, specify a friendly action for it. So it could be something like allow to just log the request and stop further evaluation or monitor in this case. Customers also have the option to use Akamai bot categories. And this is possible because Akamai has visibility of around 30% of all internet traffic in our platform. So automatic traffic has been classified in these categories and you could enforce either monitoring or blocking actions to these bots. So here on the business intelligence bots, uh, you can see there are 44 bots that are included in this category. And what you could do is either block or 44 or monitor or all 44 or just specifically add that um, bot that it's um, bothering you. It could be, for example, a bit for uh, bot. So I'm going to copy these and then um, you could specifically block that bot here on their uh, unwanted bots. So I'm going to go to um, the ellipsis sign again, go to manage bots, and then under this unwanted bot, I'm going to create a new one. This time, this is going to be a bot that I found under Akamai defined um, lists, and I'm going to paste the name of that bot that I want to block. So you basically go ahead and save this. And for the sake of the uh, example, I'm just going to click on um, that save button here and then go back to my main page for bot management where under unwanted bots you're going to find this one that i just add and then you have the option to apply the action that you need here if you want to block or just a monitor for now then um there is the transparent detection section and this one will evaluate requests and try to find indications that this may be coming from a bot. So the usual um, in this case is impersonators of known bots where in the request there could be incorrect or spoofed user agents and there could be other as well detections based on user agents like uh, for example a request that could be coming from development frameworks like ruby or http libraries like Perl, curl or even known open source crawlers that you can also control from here um, and block if need if needed and uh, the last control or feature included in within transparent detections um, is a browser impersonator detection that will focus uh, pretty much on analyzing this request and analyzing headers to identify those type of bo bots that may impact your application availability and performance and be able to control uh, those from here. Again, after you have made all of your changes, what you want to do is activate this uh, configuration on staging first and then production. 